kicking me in my washigiri. I'm gonna move it to the side a little bit. One step forward. Hey guys, I'm Lior Machida. I'm gonna demonstrate here some of the takedowns and some of the techniques on the ground that you're gonna see in karate combat for sure. So, the first thing is takedown. I'm gonna show a couple of them here to show how you're gonna throw the guy, the guy on, the, uh, on the ground. And then after that, you're gonna pass to how to fight on the top position and on the ground position. So, one position that I like to do is to foot sweep when I grab the leg from my opponent. For example, if my opponent kicking me mawashigiri, I grab the leg. What is important to understand that I'm not gonna receive the kick, let's switch side, please. I'm not gonna receive the kick in the same place that he measured the distance. He measured here, I'm gonna move it to the side a little bit to absorb the power of the kick. As soon as I grab the, the leg, now I'm gonna do one step forward and push him, come a little bit here, one step forward and push him towards the ground. So that's one of the techniques that I love to do. And also now, instead of staying here and strikes, use my strikes, I like to pass the guard. Why pass the guard? Because here, that means his guard. His legs means his guard. If I'm inside the guard here and try to hit him, which is good too, if I can take an advantage right off the technique, the, the takedown technique, that's good. But if it takes a little bit long, better to pass the guard and hit my opponent to looking for the knockouts. One more time, please. Since he's gonna kick me, I absorb the kick. Now I use my other hand to push his body and also step forward. As soon as he fall on the ground, I throw his leg past his guard and attack him. Now I'm gonna show you another technique that I really like to do. I like to do a foot sweep with my back leg if I'm softball or if I'm orthodox, I use this and throw. This technique is better because I already pass his guard as soon as I throw him on the ground. I'm not inside his leg, you see? I'm in the side control here. Now I can control the arm and hit, hit as much as I can. So if I'm southpaw, sometimes I kick to disguise my foot sweep here. Then I use, I push and throw. Then I control the fight. Let's do the other side. So let's, I kick, boom. The second one, I fake my kick, then I throw. And I control the fight because I am already on his side here. So I already passed his guard, so. I, more, I have more control the fight here. Once my opponent is on the ground, what I have to avoid to be is inside the guard, you see? Now, he's not too comfortable, but he can defend himself. Why? Because he has his legs controlling the distance. Even if I'm getting inside the guard here, he can close his knee here and hip, and lift his butt a little bit, his hip a little bit, hip lift from the ground, yes. Now he has more distance. If you put this knee over here, no, your knee, yes. You see now he control the distance. I cannot get the distance over there. But that's why I said, once I am able to pass his guard and control, hold the arm, hold the arm and hit him, it's the better option. The idea is to Take that somebody down and pass the guard right away. Otherwise, we're gonna have, because only five seconds you have on the ground. If I stay here, like one, two, three, four, five, the judge gonna stop the fight, the referee gonna stop the fight and stand up, back and stand, okay? So, for more important thing, choose one side, you can go this side, or you can go the other side. 
and pass the defense, pass the guard, and hit my opponent. Now, I'm going to explain how to defend yourself when you're in the bottom position. What is important to understand, I already mentioned that, the legs are my defenses here. First of all, I have to keep the distance with my foot and with the range of my leg. If, I'm, if I let him get inside my guard, now he has the range to hit me here. What I have to do if I'm here, I have to lift my hip to create the distance and put the foot over his belly or his chest or even on his leg here. Why? Because now I have the range of my leg, so I have the distance, then I create space and I can defend myself. Other thing, I cannot let the guy hold my leg with the, yes. If I let the guy hold my leg, he's in an advantage right now. He has the G up in hand. So he, as soon as I realize I have to release my leg and push and push and protect myself here. Since I only have five seconds, it, it's time, it has time to hit me, but I have time to defend myself because in five seconds, if he hold and punch me, hold, I have to be ready and punch and wait for the referee, stop the fight and back in stand. Other thing which is so important, to not turn your back, to not give your back during the fight because it's a common mistake that I've been seeing in some of the fights because you only think, I have just five seconds, but if the guy hits you too hard here, and if you're not seeing the guy, it's create a very, very damage in your body because you have to all the time look, see everything that is coming. And in order to do that, you have to always be in front of your opponent. Don't turn your back. That's a common mistake. For example, if Thomas throw my leg to the side, I want to, this, if he hit me here, for sure I'm not seeing the technique. I don't know what's coming. That's so dangerous and create a lot of damage on my body because I'm not seeing. That's why I have always to face my opponent. Even if he throw my leg to the side, I have to face my opponent here. Don't turn my back, okay? And also, if he stay here on my side, yes, usually, same thing. You can lift, uh, stand up, please. Put your knee here. Same thing. We try to move to the side, turning our back. That's not good. What I have to do is protect myself, grab, sit and grab his leg here. And stand up to protect myself. Oh, if he give me a little more space here, I have to use my leg, use my leg to protect and face him. One more time. Don't fall, just stay. If he stay here, I have to use the other leg because these legs, I cannot use this leg. I use the other leg here to push him a little bit and create this space and protect yourself all the time. That's so important to know how to protect yourself. I believe that's the main thing that you gotta know if you go to the ground and also if you're on the top position, how to hit your opponent and also how to defend yourself.